Welcome back everyone to Showbiz India and right now I have with me Imtiaz Ali, the very talented filmmaker. It's great to see you in New York City. How are you feeling today? How was the panel session like? Panel session was great. There was a lady uh, who came out and very vehemently uh, started speaking to Zoya and me as though she's going to hit us or something. It was almost violent but she was saying that she's never seen a session like this where um, the audience has interacted so well and so much and that they wouldn't even let the session get over. So I think it was invigorating. So as a filmmaker, how important is it for you to attend sessions such as this to understand your audience? I think more than even understand audience, uh, when you're talking and when you're talking honestly and passionately, you understand things about yourself as well. And the fact of the matter is that as much as I might have spoken and others might have understood, I have understood too. And also it was uh, fabulous being on stage with Zoya um, and Anuradha to, for instance, get what Zoya thinks and what her process is. Because although we are friends, we never get around to talking about it. And of course, there's a point of view that uh, th this uh, gathering of New York gives, which a gathering anywhere else in the world wouldn't. So it's working out very nicely. Now, have you attended and participated in other panels such as this all over the world? Um, yes, in, at various places actually, in places that are very different from New York, uh, that, like even Bhutan or small city India, um, or uh, places like uh, um, London, etc., or other Western countries, which are uh, which think a little bit more like New York. Yeah. And how does that different? Each one is different, culturally different, and this one is um, uh, unique in the way that. Uh, um, of course, the audience here, the pe people over here are much more connected to um, uh, the Indian film industry than, um, let's say, in, in the Czech Republic where I had a similar session. The backdrop of most of your films, the popular films, and you've been extremely successful is romance. Is that a genre you will continue? It's not. I don't treat it as a genre. And I don't even, uh, so I'm, I'm, I don't know whether I'm going to continue it. It's, I, I just write the story that comes to mind. And, and, and I don't like the fact that my stories are too similar to each other at all. First of all, your stories are not similar to each other. But, you know, love is, love is universal and it is a backdrop for, I think, any culture transcends cultures, age, everything. I don't do it deliberately. It just happens. What is your inspiration? From people, from, from the people that I meet, from, uh, there's, there's some vibe or connection or some, some sort of a spark that leads to me thinking about that person perhaps or the people are in a situation and then, and then story starts getting formed. So what sparked in you to, for you to be prompted to be a filmmaker? Um, I used to do theatre, I used to write, I used to always be involved with uh, putting class kits up for people to watch on, on teacher's day etc. So I think that just led from one thing to the other and uh, that, that chain never broke. In terms of commercial success, I would presume your li life changed quite a bit after Jambi met? Not really. Um, life d didn't change. Um, people started offering more money and uh, I think overall the, in the film industry more money came in, directors started getting... But uh, that's not really life-changing. So generally, when you see a film on the theater, do you feel like your vision has been completed, let's say, for example, for Rockstar? Never. It's always a failure. Each time that I've made a movie, I've ultimately realized that it's, uh, it's, it's a failure. Really? <laughs> Even though it's commercially successful and critically acclaimed? That, that doesn't matter. The fact that it could have been better or that I, I often feel very... Um, terrible things about movies that I make sometimes I feel that I have never I've not even been able to hit the point sometimes I feel like that and uh, sometimes I feel like in Love Askal that I couldn't squeeze it out enough which is still a better feeling than the uh, some, I used to some, sometimes feel about Jab we meant that what's the point <laughs> so uh, yeah so it's a curse but I've learned to live with it let's talk about uh, what you're working on now I've, uh, I'm writing a story which I hope to start uh, shoot early next year. What is it about? Um, I'm still writing it so I can't really talk about it. So do you think you'll be shooting in India or overseas? India for sure. I don't know where in overseas. India for 